I want y'all to take just a minute and think about the sacrifices that certain people made. Okay, I want y'all to think about the sacrifices that the men and women in uniform made in order to keep our asses free. No matter if they're trying to take our rights away now or not, they're not going to succeed. But think about it just for a second and ask yourself if you would do it. All right. The sacrifices they made is missing the birth of their firstborn children, deaths of family members, holidays, anniversaries. Okay, all of the, the first step of their child, all of these sacrifices that our men and women in uniform made in order to keep our asses free deserves thanks. Now, with that being said, I will tell you this, and this is coming from a red, white, and blue-blooded American, as hardcore as you can possibly get. And I know there's some people out there, no matter what the media says about people's turning on the country, that's bullshit. They want you to do that because they want you to live in fear. That's not what's happening. There is so many people out there, y'all, and I'm talking to the veterans right now and the active men and women in the military. The American people are so thankful, so thankful for the sacrifice that y'all have made. No amount of thank yous will ever measure up to what y'all deserve. I, no matter how much I try, no matter how many words I put into a book, no matter anything like that, no matter how, how many letters I send or how many conversations I have with the men and women in, in uniform, it will never ever measure up to what y'all deserve for keeping this country free. So take five minutes, y'all. Take five minutes of your day. If you're walking down the street and you see a little old crippled man walking down the street, you know they're going to have a veteran's hat on. Why? Because they wear that shit with pride. Because they made ample sacrifices in order to go keep that country free, and they wear that shit proudly. I know a lot of people these days aren't proud to be Americans. But here's the thing. If you're not proud to be Americans, there's planes leaving this country every day. Leave the people who are proud here. But take five minutes, if you see a man or a woman walking down the street with a veteran's hat on or something like that, take five minutes and go up to them and say, Sir, ma'am, I just wanted to let you know I am very thankful for the sacrifices that you've made. I'm not sure what all you had to miss out on in order to keep these rights of this country, but I just wanted to tell you thank you. I will never be able to repay you for what you have done for us, but I just wanted to let you know that there's at least one person out there, me, who appreciates the trials and tribulations that you had to go through. Y'all, they give them one day a year, Veterans Day. They give them one day a year to pay tribute to them. Regardless of the fact that the majority of them are living on the streets homeless. Okay, you haven't been humbled until you've walked into a veteran's home. And there's countless number of them in there who don't have a home, who don't have a car, who don't have anybody to take care of them. They don't have any money. All right, nothing like that. That's why I do so much work with veterans. But you walk in there and you look at these people who have, were willing to pay the ultimate sacrifice to keep us free. And they're sitting there living in poverty. Those are the people that we need to be taken care of, but we're not. But for this one day, for this one day, take five minutes out of your day. I guarantee that you know one of them. Take five minutes out of your day and thank a veteran for what they did for this country. Because we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for them. Shit.